Today I'm going to show you how you can add products to Google My Business. Now you may think that's a straightforward thing to do, but I found that products are very confusing. Why are they confusing? Well, Google My Business has changed the way in which you can approach products several times over the past few years. So products are really powerful. They're a great way to encourage people to buy from you. And at the same time, there's often confusion between products and services. So I'm going to look at that today. I'm going to take you a step by step of how you can build a product. And also at the end, there's a bonus as well as to how we're going to unravel services and see what you can do with services that will also enhance your products. So thank you for joining me today. I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I help small businesses benefit from my 20 years of experience as a web designer. Now, when it comes to helping websites grow on the internet, then Google My Business is one of the greatest optimization tools that is currently out there. So you'll find a lot of my videos concentrate on how you can optimize your Google My Business entry or location. So today we're particularly going to look at how you can optimize products and how those products and services a bit later on, how they can be combined and quite powerful in enhancing your business and particularly your website. So before you forget, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. And also if you click the bell, it will alert you of the next update of my video series. So we're going to look at what are products and how do they get used to then enhance your website and your local business. Well, I'm going to dive on my computer now and I'm going to add a new product, add a new service, and you're going to see exactly how I do it. And you can then follow along and do it for your business too. Okay, so you've logged on to Google My Business and you're now in the area of your dashboard. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just go to look at how you can enter or add a product. And you need to really have in mind what products you want to add in the first place. Now, there are three ways in which you can get to products. I'm going to take you through each way, first of all. And this is where I think there's lots of confusion because uh, products has been in all sorts of places in the past. But first of all, if you go to posts and you go to add a post, you'll notice that amongst the posts you can add is add product. And if I click add product, I can now add a photo, add a product name, and so on, which we will go through this in a moment, so uh, don't despair. So the first one is three posts. The second one is if you go into info, and then as that's loaded up, you'll notice that as you go down, there's also products once again. And if you click on that, then it takes you through to your products that you already have. And you can then see here, if you click add product, you've got exactly the same once again to fill out. So that's the second way uh, that you can view it. Uh, the third way is if you just go back to home and in effect, you'll notice that what we did is we went um, from uh, info to products. You can just go straight to products. And there's the third way, which is exactly where we were a second ago. So three different ways to get the products. And I think in some ways, this is where Google really wants you to add products, but very few people do this. And so often if Google wants you to do something, they're going to reward you for doing it. Therefore, at the moment, now is the time to think about adding products. Okay, so as you can see, I've got four products here um, that are part of a series of products that I offer. And I'm just going to just give you a little bit of an idea as to how you can go about knowing what products to add. So you might say, well, I'm not selling anything, but often services are a way of selling a product. So as you can see, uh, I sell kind of some management services here and some template work. And also at the moment for free, I'm giving um, some website review information away or some uh, critique, which uh, you'll see in my series if you're following me on YouTube. Now, just taking a look then, how do I come across these? Well, if you go to my website, you'll see that at the beginning of my website, I've got kind of four main areas where I try and help people. But I've actually got a fifth area uh, and it's Google My Business. And I haven't really added that to the website yet. But I'm going to use that as kind of a bit of a dummy run to show you how you can add a product. So let's just go back to um, my uh, dashboard. And if I was to add a product, there's probably this, the first way I would go about it is either click products 
or I would go to post and then add products. And we've got a series already that we've already looked at adding offers and adding news updates. We haven't done events yet, that's coming up next, but adding product is probably the, th the third out of the four. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I've now already done a, um, a, a kind of a logo to fit in with the others. Hopefully this will work. So I'm going to uh, select it. You could geotag it as well. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know the importance of that. I'm gonna drop this in. And this is going to be my uh, products for Google My Business. Now I always again check to make sure that we've not lost any of it. So we'll just do that and we'll upload it. And this is my Google My Business Management. I've put this in kind of in keeping with the other products as well. Okay, so now next I've got to then uh, consider what uh, name I'm going to give it and I'm going to give it a Google My Business Management. So I'm going to be offering that. So let's just put that on there. Uh, select a category and it's going to be part of the same special offers um, from uh, Zanet Design Limited. Fixed price or price range. Now, I think if I look at my other ones, um, so on here, you know, to have a price range. Um, so this is the kind of, they're gonna be tying in with these as well, because it's kind of like a family. So my product range is going to be from uh, 140 to 280 pounds, depending on what package the person wants. So I'm gonna put that in there. So um, price range. Okay, so 140 uh, to 280. Okay, and then it wants a product description. And I've written a small one here, so I'll just uh, basically stick this in, uh, into there. You've got up to a thousand. Okay, bear in mind, keywords are always important when you're writing things, but there you go. So that's, uh, that's going to be um, very good. Okay, um, add a button. So I think what I'll do is I'll just get people to order online. Uh, they can order online and the link to the button. So I'm just going to go for my contact page for now. So I have not built a landing page for this yet, but I'm going to take this and I'm then going to add that as the landing page. So I'll just take them through to um, there. Now I could preview it, which I'll do. There you go. So Google My Business Management from 140 to 280 pounds. There's the description. Um, people can see what I do on YouTube, uh, order online. If I click that, it should take me through to my contact page. I'm going to publish that. And that's how easy it is to add a um, uh, product to your product category. So there you go. So now I've got a, a line of products and um, I can continue to add products. I've also, again, you can do it from a post instead. So if you did it from a post, so if you went to a post and added a product, you can do it that way. And it kind of, I don't know quite why there's a difference here. It's kind of um, a series here, but these are from product posts. Um, but I think they're more like offers as well. So if you look at these, um, you can see it's kind of, I don't know, it's more, more of a, uh, an offer. Um, I think you can kind of categorize it. You can create new categories as well. So in effect, that's categorizing it in one sense or in another as well. So I think there's a lot more you can do with this yet. You could categorize these things under even sections like uh, maybe if you've got a couple of towns that you do, then you could have these, I could have these as Bournemouth ones and I could have another one for Christchurch, another one for Paul and so on. Um, so if I want to see how it looks on Google, I can click on this and uh, there we see um, the whole thing. Um, and it looks like it probably needs approval. So it's not been approved yet, so it's not showing there. Um, but maybe that'll take a few moments to um, to approve, unless I didn't actually send it through. Let's look. Yeah, maybe it's still, at the moment, everything seems to be a bit slow on approvals, but uh, hopefully that, uh, that's good. And then also you can move it up and down, so this is quite useful. So I can move it up uh, the order to the top, or I could uh, move it to the bottom, or I can add a product above there. I can delete a product, I can edit the product and so on. So all the things here, very much a case of Google wanting you to use products and um, and obviously make sure that you kind of keep them all nicely updated as well with whatever your offers are on your website. Okay, now one of the other things I'm just going to look at is just, and this is really a bit of a bonus really, is that we've looked at how to add products to Google My Business, but 
how do you add services to Google My Business? And it used to be a case of you used to have to go to info and then you clicked on services and it's all very confusing. But services now has its own section too. And whereas services and products used to be closely linked together, they're kind of, they're now separate again. And this is much more to do with categories. So if you've got your category, so my main category is web design, uh, primary category. But if you have other ones, say logo design or whatever, you can then add services underneath them. And the idea of services is just a bit more of a description um, rather than you can add a price. Um, and so it's kind of similar to a product, but, um, it's more of a, a definite service and they're trying to separate services and products and I kind of you can see why there's been so much confusion because the two can be quite similar really in fact I'm probably using services here uh, as products but it depends on how you package them and how you want them to be perceived um, and personally I think things like hosting maybe um, is more of a service uh, but what I would suggest you do here is use this as an opportunity to and this is a kind of a little extra tip is use it for um, using towns local towns and that so um, the area I'm covering is kind of the Bournemouth Christchurch pool area um, so I've added Christchurch web design here but again bearing in mind that I've only got uh, one primary category which I'm really focusing on at the moment then I'm going to also try and focus on the area that that uh, that takes place so I'm going to add a service here so again I'm going to just talk you through how you do this so uh, add a customer, uh, add a custom service, um, and I'm going to call this um, pool web design. So we've got Christchurch and pool web design. Apply that, and now that gives me a new service area. And now I can edit this as well if I want to. So what do I want to do? Well, um, it's from two nine nine, so I can put a from uh, two nine nine for me to build a website. Whoops, uh, for anyone in that area of pool. And then I've just written a little bit of um, blurb that says who I am and how I can consult and how I'm going to help people. But you don't get the benefit of the pictures and uh, it seems like you've only got, yeah, you've only got 300. So it's very limited on what you can do. There you go. So 20 years of experience and of. Okay. I'm going to apply that. And now you'll see that is a service that can be completed. So unraveling um, the difference between services which can have a value, uh, products that always have a value. Uh, products are much more richer, much more image related. They have a lot more information um, and look a lot better. And I would tend to use products above services. Services are much more text heavy. Use it for things like naming towns and uh, categories and so on. Uh, and I think the combination of these two things are then obviously reflective of what you do on your website. You'll see for those um, other services as well, silver, gold and platinum, those uh, those came through as well. So uh, you could see that was uh, the case on here as well. So um, hopefully you've uh, made some sense of that. It uh, will give you the confidence to know that once you've got some services and some products, then make sure you add them to Google My Business and you won't go far wrong. Now, Google also knows that there's certain types of information that you need to know about if you're wanting to optimize your business. And so I've asked Google to put up two videos that I've got that are ideal for you as my visitor. So choose one of these next two videos either side of me.